Hi, Captains, and welcome now to Tuesday. Well, cloudy and uber hyper aware today, probably prone to anger for the captains. We all are. The moon is in Gemini, shifting to what we were working on last month. That is, of course, your moment to moment reality. Mars is still there. So is Venus. But the moon's going to cross Mars first, which is going to amp us up and kind of charge us up. So we're all going to get kind of riled up today somewhere. And you, it is in your body. So it could be anxiety or it's in your lifestyle. You are prone to arguments or anger issues in your daily lifestyle, whatever your rituals are, because that's where it's playing out. Also in your body, be careful of injury. Walk down those stairs carefully. Okay, this is definitely where people trip and do weird stuff. Mars and their six and the moon crossing. But the real culprit is the sun. We're in chapter one of Sun and Cancer. And as of today, we're in a grand square. A grand square is a dead stop. Everything stops on Earth. In my opinion, this is the universe stopping us and preparing for the healing, which will be in about 72 hours. But before it does, it's going to make you sit and think about it. Now, what it comes down to in practical inner reality is it feels like nothing is moving forward. And let me outline what stopped moving forward for you. Specifically, okay, ego development, marriage development, career development, and home development. Yikes! The four most important corners to a Capricorn, right? Home, career, ego, and relationships. All on a dead stop. Meanwhile, the universe is... Uh, throwing some fire at your feet with moon, con you know, conjuncting Mars. <laughs> so is the universe toying with you? No, but I do think the universe is holding us down. The fear that comes up in all these areas being in a dead stop, this fear is going to lead to the healing. So allow it to flow. Allow it to build. Observe. This is kind of like the universe is going through labor. This is the last eclipse after two. It's a big, big deal. We're all feeling it. And the best thing to do, of course, is to be nice to yourself. Strangely enough, Venus is ruling the day. So this is actually a healing in progress, although it's really hard to convince me of it, and certainly is probably you. All right, Capricorn, that's all I have for today. Do a little cardio, get in your body, hang on, I'll have the next little bit of advice tomorrow. Until then, live, love, be. So good.